All right, Line Eye fans, let's talk about Andre Cabello. So Brad Underwood on Monday said that there was a minor setback. He's still not ready to practice and be with the team. And that is the official news. Then I seen on Twitter, uh, Kedrick Prince. Guys, there are so many rumors out there about Andre Cabello. There's not a single media person covering Illinois going to share personal information about Cabello or any student athlete. Protecting people's privacy still matters. It's what anyone would want for their child. All right, here's the thing about that. When you tell everyone that Andre Cabello is not playing because of a concussion, Yet, we see with our own eyes, Andre Cobello, on the sidelines, running, jumping up and down, celebrating with the team. That is not someone who is suffering concussion symptoms. If that was the case, he would be at home, relaxing, resting, Doing what needs to be done. He would not be at the games. Getting up. Getting down. Jumping. Being excited. He looks perfectly healthy. Once again. With our own eyes. That's what we see. We do not see anyone that is injured. We don't We don't see that. So that's the problem. You tell us that. He can't play because of a concussion, but yet he's able to go to the games in the bright lights. He's able to get up and get up and down. He's able to jump around and scream and celebrate with his team, but yet he can't play. That doesn't add up. So what can someone do but speculate? We know this isn't a concussion. We know it's not that because once again, for the last time, if this was a concussion issue, he would not be at the game, period. So let's just put that to rest. So what is going on? All we can do is speculate. Does he have a broken heart about a girl? A broken heart about not being in New York? Um, Is it something with his grades at school? Is he not passing his classes? Um, Did he get suspended for something? All we can do is speculate. So here's what should have happened. Brad Underwood, as the head coach, should have came out and said, let's just say it was a personal thing, right? Brad should come out and say, In regards to Andre Crabello's availability, all I can tell you, it is a personal matter. We ask that you respect that. And when we have any information to share on his return, we will. Andre Crabello, please stay home. Don't come to the games. Don't draw attention to yourself. Stay home. Deal with what you have to deal with. And let's go from there. But instead, oh, it's a concussion. He's out for the next five months. But yet he's able to go to all the games, jump around, be excited, scream. Um, that's not a problem. But he, he's, he's unfit to practice. Yeah, right. So <clears throat> that's the problem. Um, if I was a Illinois media person covering Illinois... I would talk to Brad Underwood and I would tell Brad Underwood to his face that this is not a concussion issue. So if it's personal, just say it's personal. We'll respect that. If he's suspended, say he's suspended. Whatever it is, just say it. You don't have to give the details if it's personal. Just be vague. But just let people know. And now we can go on. We say, okay. It's personal, whatever. Let's just go on. But when you lie about it, that's the problem. 
If you believe that Andre Cabello is suffering from a concussion, then I got to tell you, um, get your head out of the ground. This guy is not suffering from concussion issues. Like I said, um, having seen athletes who have suffered from lingering concussion, I can tell you for a fact they do not show up at the games jumping up and down, screaming, and going crazy, celebrating with the team. I can tell you that. They're at home under doctor's orders doing what needs to be done. But anyway, um, so that's the latest on Andre Cabello. Brad Underwood says it's a minor setback. You go one step forward, two steps back. There is a real chance. That he might not play again this year. Seriously. There is a real chance he may not play. And I'll tell you this. If Andre Corbello does not play this year. I predict he will transfer from Illinois. And go play for maybe St. John's or something like that. He'll be, he'll be playing in New York. Mark my words, if Andre Cabello does not play for Illinois this year, he will transfer and go play in New York. And what a shame it will be. So, all we can do is speculate. We don't know what's going on. And hopefully, he will come back. Hopefully, he will be the player we hope that he is. A player that doesn't turn the ball over. A player that doesn't over dribble. A player that doesn't take bad shots. A player that does not allow the opponent to get inside their head, his head. That is the kind of player we hope he is. That's the kind of player we need him to be. The question is, can he be that player? We'll only find out <clears throat> if he plays this year. So those are my um, thoughts on it all. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you believe that Andre Cabello is suffering from concussion lingering issues? Do you believe that? Let me know. Or do you believe there's something else going on and that you wish that Brad Underwood would just say, hey, it's personal, it's personal, it's personal. Um, let's just leave it at that. Okay? Anyway, I-L-L-I-N-I. -L -L -I -I.